Hey, I'm Joel Wade. I'm senior producer for The Godfather 2. We're here in beautiful Santa Fe, and we're here to record Robert Duvall, who's going to do Tom Hagen for us, bring his character back from the movie into the game. I know. You've been very helpful. You have influence, Dominic. Use it. Remember, it's never personal. It's only business. Play Tom Hagen as an actor, you're right on the edge. You're not quite accepted. It, it, you know, it's like an adopted son in the in, in the family, and uh, so it was like I felt that way as an actor and as a character. Both, you know, you're, you're a little bit on the outside, but you're accepted on the inside as long as you watch your place, and watch watch your back too. So, how did you prepare for your role in The Godfather and The Godfather Two? To prepare for my role, I didn't do a lot. I mean, I followed my instincts. The script was good. We rehearsed. And uh, my friend Louis Cosentino, who's no longer with us, told me about a guy that was like a gopher for Tremonti up in the East Harlem, you know, and uh, and how he would be his gopher, how he would light his cigarette, how he would wait on him. It was like a Secret Service guy, so to speak. And that story helped me, just that one little story about like a like a high-level gopher, that's what it was. Seems like a subservient thing, but it's, it's not to be demeaned. You've won. You have to wipe everyone out. So tell us about being a Don and what you think it takes to, to make a great Don. You gotta have a lot of balls and you gotta have a lot, of, I guess, you know, you gotta really watch your back. You don't know who's gonna really go against you. You have to, I guess, build your own power unit and hopefully with strings of fidelity to people around you, but you know, you never know. So it's a tenuous position, I think, but you know, it's a, you have, it's a position of building power, I would think, and holding on to it as long as you can. So what did you think of what you saw of the Don's view and sort of that view from above? Well, the Don's view, I mean, as you say, above the city, looking down and everything, it's the objective kind of perusal of things. I mean, that it, it makes the player feel like he is the Don, he's in control, and he feels that sense of of being it, being the one. Senator, we're putting in a call to your office. Explain that you'll be there tomorrow afternoon. You decided to spend the night at one of our hotels as a guest. It's very interesting and perhaps exciting that a new generation will be introduced to this this game of The Godfather, you know. I, mean, I thought we could help you. I didn't do anything. I know. It is a game and it's a movie, it's fiction, but it's, uh, as long as people are entertained by it, then uh, it's, it, it's a fun thing. Hey, the committee owes this man an apology. Senator, Senator, I move to adjourn this committee. The committee owes this man an apology. The witness is now excused. It's not personal, it's only business.